Hey everyone, uh, it's been a while, it's been probably a month or so since I did my last, which would have been my first video blog, um, so this will be number two. Uh, got my placement last week on Monday, so that was really exciting, um, it's kind of unexpected. Uh, our, co or our coordinator in Chicago was on vacation, so I wasn't actually expecting to get it for another week or so, but uh, came early, which was a great surprise. Uh, didn't get any of my placements I originally requested. Uh, the first one was Shiogama, which is kind of by Sendai, uh, up in uh, Miyagi Prefecture. The second pre uh, pre preference that I had, geez, I can't talk today. My second preference that I had was Ushinomaki, uh, which is also in Miyagi Prefecture. And then my third one, I didn't know what to put, so I just put Yamanashi Prefecture, which is down by where Mount Fuji is. Um, that's just because there was a sister city relationship with my, or sister state relationship with my home state of Iowa, so I figured why not. Um, but, it turns out I didn't get any of those. Um, I actually got placed in Akita Prefecture, which is up in the northwest part of Japan in Tohoku region. Um, so it's close to Miyagi, um, but still a solid, uh, probably three hour drive to Sendai area. Um, Anyway, the town I got placed in is called Yuzawa. Um, it's on the southeast side of Akita Prefecture, which is in the northwest part of Japan. So I'll throw a map up on here. Hopefully the editing goes okay um, when I get this video done and I can put it in this map or put the map in this video. So um, with that, um, now the whirlwind begins. I'm already in contact with my possible possible predecessor. Um, there's two out of the five leaving from Yuzawa, and so um, I actually happened to come across uh, one of them. Uh, so that's kind of cool. We're talking, and she's kind of helping me out with different things. Sorry, this lighting is really weird, but I guess half my face is lit up and the other half's not. Anyways, um, so that's really cool. We're talking about a lot of stuff. Um, also met got in contact through Facebook with a girl that's going to be there next year. Her name is Caroline. Um, super friendly. Excited to meet her. She's also a Christian. Um, in case you guys don't know, I'm a, I'm a very active Christian um, believer. Um, I try not to... Uh, I'm not going to make it a huge part of these video blogs, um, but at the same time, it's part of who I am. It's, it's uh, definitely... Um, my life. So um, with that, you know, if you're not a believer, I totally understand. Um, I won't, you know, go completely super in depth to try to, you know, preach a sermon or anything. But um, at the same time, it's who I am, and it's it's uh, definitely part of my everyday life as well as my fiance Mateus. Um, so with that, found uh, Caroline, who's a Christian. They do a Bible study every Sunday night or every other Sunday night. Um, so super excited to start that up with them and keep that going. Um, it'll be great because I was worried that I wouldn't get placed next to Christians and I'd be out on my own with Matea in our first year of marriage and that would be super difficult. So i um, really excited for that. Um, also, by the sounds of it, my school is awesome. Um, one of the issues was that uh, Yuzawa didn't get... The Chicago Consulate didn't forward onto Yuzawa that I am now bringing my soon-to-be wife because on my application I had only marked one because at that point um, I didn't think Matei would be going with me. So um, that's caused kind of a hassle with paperwork and um, they Yuzawa's put in a tough spot because they have to find housing for as big enough for two. Um, so I feel bad for that. Um, at the same time, there's nothing I can really do but uh, be patient through the situation. So, um, so I got right now, there's only like 120 days until Matea is in Japan with me. So it's even less than that that I'm in Japan. Um, so yesterday we made flashcards to learn katakana. So that's the katakana for ka. So that's kind of cool. Made a whole bunch. Oop, dropped a couple. There's all sorts. So, anyways, apparently my penmanship is better in Japanese than it is in English, which is positive. So, 
Um, you can't read too much of my um, English handwriting. But anyways, um, so that's all I got. Just wanted to update you. I'll be in Yuzawa, Yuzawa in Akita Prefecture. Um, so I probably won't talk about interview. I said in the last video I might talk about interview. Um, I might talk about some basics, but apparently we're under a um, order of silence as far as specific questions. Um, so I won't be throwing those up in the near future because I don't want my job to be in question. Um, so who knows, maybe a, you know, when I get back to the States after my jet uh, term is up, I don't know. Maybe I won't even do it. I don't know. We'll see. It's my video blog, so I can decide what I want. So anyways, that was kind of creepy, but um, I'll stop rambling here. I'm excited to meet everyone, and uh, Izawa is mountainous. It's got a climate very similar to Minnesota, which is where I live currently. A lot of snow, not quite as cold as Minnesota, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, everyone says, you know, oh, the winters are so cold there, and I look, and their all-time low is like 5 degrees Fahrenheit, and, you know, Minnesota, you know, in the middle of January, you're lucky to get above zero a lot of times, and they got wind chill on top of that, so, um, a lot of snow, climate very similar to Minnesota, which is fine with me, I don't really care, um, we'll be needing a car, which isn't at an expense that I was hoping we could avoid, but, uh, so be it, but anyways, uh, Looking forward to it. Beautiful area, lots of onsen. Uh, udon noodles are famous there. They started there, a certain type of them. Um, beautiful scenery. Uh, great area, small town. So I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, keep you updated on this, kind of how everything's playing out. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later.